The Bible says, let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So happy to have you guys back here. So today I am putting together this um, bedside table set that I ordered from Amazon. If you guys are interested, I will link it below. It was really inexpensive. I did not want to buy anything expensive um especially if you know i don't know if i'm gonna like it or not so it's always best to go the less expensive route for those of you who are new to my channel hi this is too blessed to be stressed and here on this channel we do exactly that we do not stress about anything because God is too good and he has been too good to us to be stressed about things that especially we cannot change. So what we can change, we pray that the Lord will give us the strength to do so. And what we can't, we trust him to take care of it. So I hope that you will subscribe. You are most welcome here. For my returning subscribers, I want to thank you so much for coming back for another video and this is the table i'll give you my thoughts on it after i am um, i have mixed feelings about it i put down that piece of paper that it came with it's like a little foam sheet because i didn't want the top of the table to get scratched while i was putting the table together and I didn't realize that most of what I was doing was out of frame. So I very much apologize for that. And as usual, I am going to encourage you guys in the Lord. So today we are going to be talking about time difference. I don't know if all of you are in North America and you experience the time difference twice a year but we do i'm in canada and yes we definitely have uh, daylight savings so it's basically a time of year where we either roll forward or roll backward the clock one hour and while it may seem great to gain an extra hour or be able to go in uh, later to work and so on it has its drawbacks um, i would say that for the most part although it's just one hour you do notice it your body notices it like when you are sleeping that one hour less trust me your body notices it at least mine does so there are good points and bad points it's obviously great when you finish work and it's still daylight outside it's still sun like beaming outside and in the winter time days are shorter and it feels like you literally get up in the morning and it's dark and you leave work and it's dark so yeah um i definitely do appreciate the longer days but like i said with everything <laughs> there's usually a good and a bad side to it today we're gonna look at it from a biblical standpoint for those of you who maybe know this God is a spirit God is eternal God lives outside of time one of the definitions of the word eternal means that God is not affected by time time itself is on a constant loop midnight all the way to 11 59 every day and time itself has an effect on our bodies on the environment on nature and so on but god lives outside of time so nothing that happens within our bubble of time affects him the bible tells us that with god a day is like a thousand years and a thousand years is like a day so we can see that our time clock and his is very different 
God wants us to be patient with him the way he's patient with us. You know, sometimes we look at the promises of God. We read the word of God and we expect things to happen in a certain time frame. I will share a testimony. Years ago, I had went to a camp meeting and um, I don't know if he was a deacon maybe at the time, came and prayed over me and I had shared with his wife that uh, my husband and I were wanting to have a child and they, let me say, came and prayed over me and when he prayed, he said, within two months, you're going to conceive and when I tell you I hung on to those words I was like "Ooh, in two months mm -hmm, there's gonna be something happening and every day for two months I was looking for that promise and I'm not saying that he didn't hear from God I'm not saying that the words didn't come from God but sometimes we hold on to time as though time is an absolute indicator of God and it's not like we said God lives outside of time so what may have been two months for us maybe was God asking me to prepare my body for two months was who who knows i don't know but no i did not get pregnant and yes i was heartbroken but i digress long story short time for us is not the same as time for god and the bible says that god is not just being lazy about his promises he is giving us time to repent so that no one will be lost so like i said with everything there's a good and a bad there's a positive and a negative we want time to fly when it's in our favor and when we're waiting on a promise or a blessing but at times the lord knows that it's generally not in our best interest if it's a matter of our salvation or the salvation of our loved ones it is definitely better that things slow down and please be assured the bible tells us that god will restore to us the years that the canker worm has eaten the years that the locust has eaten so any time that has been lost it's like god's insurance policy you will get it back any time that you feel like you've lost maybe in a relationship a bad relationship um, even living outside of the will of God the Lord is so gracious and so merciful that he will restore that time to you he will restore those years and even if he doesn't restore physically the years Whatever you have lost within those years, the fruit of those years, the joy, the peace, uh, the salvation, the knowing him, he will restore that to you. One thing that I have heard people testify in their old age, when they only come to know the Lord in their old age, and when they don't have many years, is they're so hungry for the word of God. They will be reading and studying and praying basically all day. Yes, a lot of them are not working, but it's the Lord restoring the years to them. He may not add extra years to their lives and another 60 years for them to live for him. But in that short period of time that they are alive and they can seek him and know him, the Lord has given them a hunger and a desire to do just that. And they are enjoying that time and they're eating the fruit of that time. I encourage us to see time just like that. The Lord giving us that grace and that mercy to make the most of the time that we're given. 
for some of you, maybe you may notice that during the day, something you finish something early and you're like, oh, I have some time on my hands. What will you do with that time? I know some of us, yes, we'll catch up on a TV show. We'll like go take a bubble bath, whatever we do. Oh, we'll catch up on a load of laundry, whatever it is. And nothing's wrong with that. If the Lord gives you extra time, wouldn't you just give even a morsel of that time to him, even a part of it to him to say, you know what? I have an extra hour today. I'm going to spend 15 minutes in prayer. Let me open my Bible app. Let me read the verse of the day. Let me hear the exhortation of the verse of the day. Let me message somebody and encourage them in the Lord. Let me reach out to so-and-so. Who I heard was sick over this week and call them and pray for them. Sometimes I believe the Lord gives us extra time just to see what we're going to do with it. We, we're always praying for more time. We're always praying that the Lord will give us strength to get through our day and all these things. And when the Lord blesses us and answers our prayer, Sometimes I wonder if we don't squander that blessing. I know I do. Many times I look back on a day that the Lord has given me energy and vigor to get things done around the house. And I've gotten everything done on my list except spending time with him. And after I've been up on my feet and doing a million things, I want to sit down on the sofa, pull out my phone, and start scrolling on Amazon or scrolling on YouTube and watching some shorts instead of just going to my prayer closet for an extra few minutes and thanking the Lord for everything I got done and asking him to be with me in this evening and let my rest time, my downtime be fruitful for him. You know, I know we need to be realistic and tell ourselves that every extra minute of the day no we're not going to be able to run to our prayer closet but just acknowledging the lord acknowledging the lord when you have that extra time oh man i finished this early thank you lord and and spending a couple minutes just thanking him and praising him for what what he's done you know like i think gratitude goes so far and it's a practice and it's a habit that we need to make. It, it doesn't just come naturally. Unfortunately, in this generation, gratitude is far from being uh, a natural thing. But all that to say, the days sometimes get longer, the days get shorter. And no matter what, one day the Lord is going to come back and we need to be ready. I pray that we will all use our time wisely and that the Lord would restore to us any years that have been lost and we would recognize them and ask the Lord, what do you want me to do with this time that you've given back to me? What do you want me to do with this restored health, this renewed strength? and put it on the altar as a sacrifice to him. When the Lord restored to Hannah the years of her inf infertility, she put that blessing back on the altar and gave it as a sacrifice to the Lord. She gave Samuel as a sacrifice. So what are we willing to give back to the Lord? What are we willing to do with our time? Time is short. Time flies as they say. This is the table, y'all. <laughs> this is the table. I just wanted to let you guys know that this video has just about been in real time. I think I sped it up to like 1.5 maybe. But yeah, that's the table. I pray this video has been a blessing to you. 
please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Remember, you are too blessed to be stressed. Take care and God bless.